here we go. This is going to be, so this is just the one side of the case. And you can see that this is all of my ammo. I have the cardboard there just to hold it in so it doesn't fall forward on itself. These are all, so this is 60 rounds per pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's 540. It's actually about 523 or something because some of these aren't full. But uh, that's all of my ammo that's coming. It's all labeled. You can see number two, number six. Those are all the different boxes that it came out of. So we'll pull all that out. Clothes are honestly like my last thought. And you'll see here, uh, being that I'm always in a house that has a washer and dryer, I usually bring three or four days worth of clothes. So this is a 10 day event for me. And as a result, I've got, I think three or four days on most clothes, but you can see, I've just got, you know, some underwear and socks. And then I've got my, this is my travel range bag. It's just a craftsman, you know, tool bag, but it folds up flat, holds everything I need. And then I also have uh, a nice padded snap on handle for that. So that's important. Then we have inside, inside of the zippers here. Let's see, I've got, this is my scorecard holder. This is, uh, you can see it right here in batteries. This is my timer for shooting on the line. Uh, part of my cleaning supplies. My knife, because I can't fly with it, obviously. An extra pen. On this side, I've got uh, my elbow pads. And then what else is in here? I've got a cleaning brush, uh, lens cleaner, and this is a pull-through cleaning kit that I really like. So that's everything over there. Now on this side, I've got a pair of pants, so that's great. I've got kind of a boonie cap thing that I like wearing sometimes. I've got my calipers that I threw in. I have my additional trigger. I have two of those ammo holders here. These are more patches, and, and these are different than my cleaning kit that I bring with me for the house. These go to the line with me in my tool bag. So one, one is saturated in alcohol, the other is dry, and I do that because I, I don't want cleaner on the line, uh, any kind of, you know, like solvent or anything. The alcohol, if I need to clean out the bore, the alcohol does a good enough job but evaporates. I don't have to worry about any kind of residue getting stuck behind. Uh, and then I can also use those alcohol patches if I need to clean out my chamber. Um, this rod that I showed you. So that rod, these patches, and where was it? This, this cleaning brush here, uh, all go in my uh, range bag. And that's just so that I make sure I've got everything that I need in case I need to clean out a chamber, a barrel, whatever it is. So uh, we've got more pants, shorts. So again, I'm just kind of, I stuff in my clothes, but you can see there's, there's very few clothes in here, relatively speaking. And I know you guys don't care about some of my clothes, but so, so I've now removed all the clothes that are in there. Uh, I've got uh, one of the, so I've got the joystick for my Seb. I've got my, there's my rear bag. I have my elevation handle for my Seb. I have the cross brace handle for my Neo X. I have the tripod and the upright section for my spotting scope, my dead bottom or donut bag, as it were. This is my wind cover for a gun or dirt cover. And then I've got in this little terry cloth. So Seb provides, it's actually really nice, but Seb provides these terry cloth bags. And in here are both my uh, regular inserts and then also my, my sand feet here. And so those are, there's, those are there. And then this is my Neo X. All right. So you can see it's here. I just need to attach the feet and the cross brace and then we're good to go. And then lastly, I have my Arbor die. So this just travels. This is my F-Class products one and um, it's just smaller and lighter. So I love it for traveling. And this one is just, it's in like one of these little cases that twist shut and it just keeps it nice and secure. So that is everything that I bring with me. 
and uh, it's everything I need. Uh, I've really whittled it down over the years. I don't bring any extra stuff uh, anymore. And in fact, every year or every time I travel like this, my goal is to go back home and, you know, kind of improve something from last time. So by the time I'm done here, uh, there will be some uh, component of this that I tell myself, okay, I'm going to try to reduce, you know, X and, and go from there. But uh, it's getting a little bit late. I need to still push a bunch of bullets back. I'm going to do some practice tomorrow. And I also have to put my gun together. So uh, appreciate everybody watching. You have a good one. We'll talk later.